we're in conversation with the man on the mission. We're talking with the Telecom Regulatory Authority of India Chairman, Dr. P. D. Vagila. Sir, thank you for joining us. Uh, but my first question, of course, has to be, how do you see the launch of 5G in India? What are the kind of regulatory challenges you see with this? Yes, I'm very happy that, you know, uh, 5G has now been launched by Honorable Prime Minister yesterday. And it is a very, very big event for the country. And, uh, you know, for Digital India also, it is going to be a very, very, you know, big uh, step ahead. Uh, yeah, but 5G, you know, uh, we had prepared an ecosystem and accordingly that, now the, you know, it has been launched. But when it comes to technologies which are based on 5G, that is AI, AR, VR, uh, machine-to-machine communication, robotics and other technologies. You know, we will be required to uh, understand the implications and how it will impact, uh, you know, the, the, the issues of ethics, then uh, uh, privacy, security and, um, you know, and, and, and the uh, other issues. Also, we need to understand that these are the technologies which actually can be, uh, you know, welcomed and we should work in such a manner that, you know, India is benefited by this new technology. As you have seen today, the kind of user cases which have come up. So, uh, naturally, you know, the issue of privacy, security and ethics will, you know, assume very, very important aspect. So, this is what I would like to say. Right. So, one of the key concerns, of course, that we have been talking about is predatory pricing. Now, if you're looking at tariff plans, uh, uh, I know it's soon to talk about it right now, but the private players and government will be discussing that. Will the regulator look into this? Because the idea is to have a fair and a competitive means, of course. So, so you, know, no, you know that, you know, uh, tariff is under forbearance and we do not, uh, you know, enter into that aspect. However, if someone indulges into unfair practices, of course, try will, uh, you know, intervene. That is what I would like to say. Right. Thank you. So one last question. It's on a very lighter note. It was also discussed. It's, it's for the social media audience who are hooked to the season called Jamtara that's on Netflix. It's, it's about the whole uh, doo-doo that's been do uh, doing around uh, cyber scams and tele scams. How do you look at that? I know Ministry of uh, Home Affairs, RBI, have been on it. Uh, in fact, the Finance Ministry has also recently given a press release that talks about it. How do you look at it? Look at it? it also brings the whole point of data protection. Yeah. So, you know, you know that, you know, TRI was the first regulator in the world to go for, you know, uh, you, you know using the blockchain and uh, to control the, you know, spam. And we have been able to control the spam, as you heard in the today's, you know, uh, the seminar where, you know, the, uh, the spam has reduced to 15%. Yes, there are, you know, challenges uh, uh, because, you know, the, uh, we use new technology, not only the spammers and the protesters also will use new technologies. So the you know uh, we have you know we have to struggle and we have to work with uh, you know all the uh, the regulators and uh, you know the stakeholders. That is the only way we can work with, and it is going to be a struggle because uh, uh, the you know the the spamming and uh, the you know uh, and the phishing has become borderless. So you know uh, so we have to re collaborate with the international regulators also. That is the only way, and we have to use the new technology, you know, like AI, ML, you know, ML, and other technologies in order to reduce and curb spam we cannot you know completely re you know remove it that is that is what i would like to say thank you thank you for speaking sir if you like the video do like comment share and subscribe